so I made up this power supply. Now this is a uh, let's just disconnect this here for a minute. So it's coming from the uh, variable transformer, the variac, and into this transformer uh, via a current rush limiter. And that's got two outputs on it, this has. Um, it's good for 24, 0, 24, or 48 volt AC. So what I've done is uh, I've used a switch here and just set it up so I can switch between um, 24 volts or 48 volts. So if the switch is over towards here, it's on 24 volts. If it's here, it's on uh, 0 and here 48 volts on the AC. It's not quite that amount because the maximum I can put in here is 60 volts DC. Right? So I've set this up um, so that at the minute, because I can use the Variac, um, the adjustable transformer I should say, Variac's a brand name, like Hoover and Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, I then things niggle me. Sorry, uh, are you are you sort of a friend who kept telling me about his Jeep and how he was having these troubles with his Jeep and all this? And then he, I said, bring it around and have a look at it because I've got a couple of Jeeps, a couple of Jeep Cherokees. At least I, I used to have. And he brought this Vauxhall Frontier around. And I said, mate, look, that's not a Jeep. <laughs> that's that's a Vauxhall Frontier. That's why you're having problems bag of shit. Anyway, I digress. Um, so <laughs> I know one person will laugh out there at that. Uh, the variable Variac transformer, the variable AC transformer. Brilliant. So at the minute I've got it set up so uh, it's got just under 200 volts. I don't even see the bottom down there. It's got just under 200 volts which means that on the output of this tops I got 54 volts on the on the DC. I'm using this today because I can plug it in to my power supply up there, which runs off the batteries of the solar panel. And as we got some solar out there today, I can I can even put my light on if I want to. Look at that fancy! I just leave it on. Not having to worry about power, even though it does say over there, look, it's using uh, 80 million. So I turn that light off. Not a lot of difference. Let's keep it on. Uh, yeah, now the reason why, even if I switch this to off now and it will only get down very slowly, is because I've got a, an 80 82k bleed resistor in, which is a little bit too much really for um, the output of this. I could probably go a bit lower, but it's just a hand, and then that's good for like 90 volts, I think. Anyway, so there, I put a diode in there, 6 amp don't really know um, if that's needed at all or if it's just going to be something there to use heat. we got voltage drop across the oven with like about 0.7 volts or something. <sighs> and that's going to be a few watts so I'm start putting a bit of power through there. So uh, the transformer itself is a um, 160 VA. Yeah, that's at the full voltage in, you know, 240 volts and going for 48, um, 48 AC out. So that sort of works out around about three and a third amps through that um, at the 48 volts to try and get the 160 VA watts, if you like. Uh, right, yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect this to this and see if it powers this. Just see what happens. But this is the bit I don't know what it's going to do. I mean, if I like it, it shouldn't blow up or anything, but it's, um, you never know. And I'm going to start it on the low setting as well. I'll bleed this off now quick with this um, resistor. I'll just put them across the terminals and bleed it off down to zero. And then do that and come back when I've uh, just connected up to the boost converter. So I can't 
already got one hand, two hands. Okay, so I forgot I can actually put this one down. So I took the silly diode out because really I don't know what it's there for anyway. So I'm just gonna wire this into this. Um, <clears throat> okay, so on this meter here then is what's here because it just follows these wires to these two probes. And then on this meter here is what's going to be on here. So it's set to zero at the minute. And it's on DC, of course. So we've got 26 volts there and 56 volts on the output. And then if I switch this, we've got 54 volts going in and we've still got 56 volts on the output. And we got just under 200 volts going in, uh, coming out of the uh, variable transformer and going into this transformer here. Just otherwise, would have had 48 volts. Uh, we should have worked out to be like more like 80 volts, which is no good for this. And uh, this works. And it shows down there that we've got 60, 56.5 volts coming in. So now what we're going to do is uh, connect it up to this little slayer. And just before I connect it up, I just noticed something actually. So if I put this back on, you can see that 2.3 up to 26, and over there we're up to 56. So now if I switch this to zero, you get to see that we're still generating, even though it's going down 48, we've still got 56 volts on the output. 37, still got 56 volts on the output. Now it starts dropping just as it goes below 10, sort of 10 and a half, and it slows really, slows down quite a lot. Discharging. That's sort of. I suppose that's just the last little bit of power in the uh, bastard. Okay. Okay, let's go again at that. Um, if I just flick this down, it'll go straight on to sort of 30 volts, 26.2, it's got 56 on the input going in. Let's see if we get anything else on the output. Uh, the voltage. Okay. That isn't really the nicest of. But let's have a look and see what it does. Is it going to give us anything in there? But that isn't what I would want to hear. That doesn't sound very good at all. I don't know if you got to hear that, it just sounded really, really strange. And which means this little um, power supply is going to need some more work. Okay, so um, I've got me 410 coil on there. I think I remember saying that. And this is probably the most basic of power supplies. We got a um, 240 volts mains even though I'm not using the full 240 volts I'm not quite using 200 volts because of the 24 volt and 0 24 volt output of this I've connected them to this switch I said earlier so I've got a switch between um, half uh, you know one side of the transform one secondary or two secondaries and then that's just going directly into here now the reason why this is turned down is because I can't put more than 60 volts into this so I'm only going to be putting like 55 volts in even when this is on um, both the, the secondaries on here and the DC out here is 56 volts just under 60 volts um, and this is also set as well this booster so it doesn't output any more than um, 56 volts which you can see down here and then we can turn that on. Uh, start turning it up. But you can see the uh, the waveform's a bit 
that click was it kicking in did it break out that is a different bulb that is a warm glow bulb that I've put in just so it's not so bright but as you can see there the way it's set up at the minute we've got 100 watts coming out 50 volts that's the limit and 2 amps that's all good so now I'm going to change that um, and I'm going to put the two turns on to actually get us the full amount which we can get out of this transformer which is supposed to be about 160 watts something like that uh, it's 48 volt times 3.3 okay I thought um, go straight down to the two but I've got the two here and I've got the one here in case uh, in case we get to using that, and I'll put the three on just to see what it's like. See, it was like oh, about 98 watts, wasn't it? Because it's was full power, 50 volts. Okay, let's switch that back on. Full power, 50 volts, um, 98 watts. So should get a little bit more out of this now. Let's just you know, so I can change the voltage. Yeah, because as that gets a bit closer that pop oh it didn't pop that time okay that should be three turns so we go up that turns it up 35 volts 40 volts we're on 130 watts 137 166 167 and I think that's 3.3, .3, that's the maximum amperage I can draw out of this. Out of this. Let me just turn it up again just there. Okay, I'm just going to turn it down because it's a little tiny. No, it's cold. So I just want to turn it back up again because I want to see what it actually says on the amperage on my area. Oh, it says about one and a half amps. I think you can see that through there. Got one and a half amps. Halfway up the scale, it's oh, it's a three amp scale, it's a screwdriver. Okay, that's pretty good. So we know that works. Turn that back off. It takes a little bit of time for um for this to drop out because there's twenty milli farads roughly. Um well it's nice probably about sixteen, eight, eighteen. Uh four point seven times four. Sort of 17 and a half milli farads of capacitance there, but when I only had two of these on, it made funny noise and uh, it didn't like it, so I just chucked another two capacitors on just because uh, they were there already pre set up. That's all right, isn't it? That's 166 watts, uh, and that that's about right. That's a, that that's what this can handle pretty much. That's what that can handle. And that was in the, was that in the 36? No, that was in the 56 uh, setting. Uh, well, it's not quite that. I should put the meter back on it so you can see what it is. But it is around about 56 volts going in. And as I turn it down over there. Ah, right, okay. I'm going to try it with the two turn on there now. Um, we're going to be limited by the current of this and and we were at that anyway, three and a half amps, it said on there. So I'll put the two turn on, see what happens.